Angela Shields, President and CEO of the San Antonio Board of Realtors. And I'm Scott Caballero, your 2011 Chairman of the Board. And today we're here to share the April statistics. One of the great things about being in San Antonio and selling real estate in San Antonio is that San Antonio continues to buck the national trends for home prices. San Antonio continues to be better than a lot of cities across the United States. Our local average and medium home prices continue an upswing as nationwide struggles. And proof of that, our average sales price right now is $181,016. And the medium home price is at $147,700. Which, you know, you hear all the time, the media reports all the cities that are doing so poorly, but San Antonio continues to show the strength that we have. As a matter of fact, Forbes magazine ranked San Antonio number four in the nation as the list of the best cities for jobs as well as the rankings were also based upon growth trends, employment data, and the momentum that San Antonio has. We continue to get so much great press, it's just unbelievable. One of the things that is leading to that is that Freddie Mac just announced that last year the 30-year fixed rate mortgages have reached a yearly low of 4.71%. Mm -hmm. And consumer confidence and uh, job growth, uh, the interest rates, all of that just continues to help our market. And with San Antonio as they continue with its price appreciation streak, contrary to the national reports that prices in major cities are dropping. Mm -hmm. Now, when you look at last year compared to this year, we are still in that time period where we had the tax credit incentives. So the numbers look a little bit skewed because we're still in that time period, but you have to go back to 2009 still to be able to get that accurate rating. That's correct. And looking as our total number of sales of 1,439 for single family homes in April of 2011, looking at the price appreciation that's happening with the job growth, San Antonio is still, as we've said, throughout the whole year leading the way in great, being great for real estate. Today we have about eight months of inventory on the market, which shows that we're very healthy. And the nice thing about that is as we continue to move forward, we've, we've stayed consistent. We're going ahead with our inventory. We have moved forward in the aspect of seeing that the price appreciation is starting to happen where we didn't see last year. So as we continue to, to go throughout the year, I expect a lot more wonderful things to happen as we're starting to increase uh, right now with our spring season and the increase of, of sale of homes that are happening over the next several months. And then just one more thing to point out is that there are a lot of statistics that show that we are in a very low um, bracket when it comes to foreclosures. We don't have a lot of foreclosures here in San Antonio as compared to a lot of cities across the nation. And one of the things that we always say is real estate is local. Here what's happening here in San Antonio, not across the nation, because as you can see with these statistics, the real estate market in San Antonio is so healthy. And just to see where we're heading over the next few months, I'm excited to see what's going to happen. Yeah, one of the analogies that we like to use is if you were going to New York City, you wouldn't check the weather in California to see what the weather was like before you went on your travels. It's the same thing with real estate. You definitely want to check your local market when you're looking at what's going on. And that's a great point. And besides all the wonderful things that are happening real estate-wise, what about some of the things that are happening here at the board? I know there's a lot of exciting things that are happening. We have a lot of things going on, and probably one of the biggest things we have going on is the nationwide open house that's coming up on June the 4th and the 5th, which is coming up very soon. And the best thing about it is that here at the board, we're here to support that. <laughs> so all that you need to do is go to the Realtor store, and you can actually receive one of the Realtor balloons, which we've talked about in the past, mm -hmm. in reference to help promote that on June 4th and 5th over the weekend. Right. Make sure that the houses that you would like to have um, displayed that day are in the MLS and marked as open houses. And then, like you said, you can go into the Realtor store and be able to pick up your balloons that you would like for those open houses. And while you're there, make sure that you take a look at all of the other open house. Um, merchandise that we have that we've purchased especially just for this so that you can purchase and be able to um, have to display your open house. That's right, I saw those boxes that Linda went ahead and yeah. ordered on in so everything's there to help promote the open house just go ahead and let us know what else we can do for you and we're happy to help. We'll be doing some special advertising to help you promote that. And I know we have a big event coming in June, would you like to share that? Um, we have the Realtor Builder Bus Tour which is always a very popular event, it sells nice out too. every year so make sure that you're looking for that information and get your tickets now, sign up for it so that you can make sure you get a seat on the bus. And that's on June 17th. Mm -hmm. That matter of tickets can be sold, it can be purchased through IMS. And with that, is there anything else that we'd like to go and talk about? I just always like to encourage everyone to check out our uh, real estate school. You can go to our website or to Facebook and keep up with all the exciting classes that we have. There's some new classes that are coming forward. There's so many things that are happening in there. And in all honesty, you've got to stay constantly looking because there's always something new, innovative that's being added to the schedule. Right. We're always trying to keep up to date and then make sure that we have some neat things going on with that. 
So again, thank you for joining us for this episode. And again, thank you for your membership. We look forward to seeing you next time. As always, it's a pleasure to go ahead and serve as your chairman. And if there's anything we can do for you at any time, please feel free to go and contact us. Thank you.